Hey, what's up, speaker files? Wellington here, and this is the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus. It's the latest addition to Soundcore's lineup of speakers, and it's the big brother of the Soundcore Motion Boom. Soundcore sponsored this video for me to share this speaker with you guys, but it's always interesting when we have a known speaker to compare a new speaker to it. And that's what we're going to do when it comes to sound. But let's start with the basics. With the speaker, you get a USB-C cord, a shoulder strap, and some paperwork stuff. The speaker inherits the design of the motion boom with an addition of a strap to give you more carrying options, probably due to the size increase of the new speaker. You get all your control buttons right at the front here, including the bass up button for added bass and the party cast button, which allows you to connect up to 100 speakers compatible with party cast 2.0. In the back is all your ports, a USB-C port to recharge the speaker, a USB -A port to charge a connected device, and we also get an aux input, which I know some people appreciate a lot. We have two passive radiators, one on each side, and as far as the internals, we have two 30 watt drivers and two 10 watt tweeters for a total of 80 watts that this guy is rocking. We have Bluetooth 5.3, it's IP67 rated, which means it's both dust and waterproof, and it's rated for up to 20 hours of playtime on a single charge. As usual, this one is also compatible with the Soundcore app, which gives you more control of the speaker, like different sound presets, a customizable EQ as well as firmware updates. The speaker already has a new firmware update, which I've already done to my speaker. So if you're planning on picking up one, when you get it, get the app, update the firmware to get the most out of your speaker. And with the specs out of the way, let's talk about sound. As mentioned earlier, the speaker has an EQ. You can tune it to sound the way you want it to sound. But for the sake of this video and for the sake of consistency, I will be leaving the speaker in the sound core signature mode with best up turned on. Actually, maybe before that, let's get a sound sample of bass up on versus bass up off, just so you guys have a feel or an idea of what different difference it makes between those two modes, okay? Um, as usual, I will be using a high quality binaural microphone. So for the best experience, please use headphones. With that said, let's hear bass up on versus bass up off. I think you get the point. Personally, I prefer this up on, but I know there are some crazy people out there who don't like this as much as I do. So they'll probably appreciate having that button right there to tame that bass when they need to. Okay, size-wise, the speaker is right between the Extreme 3 and the Boom Box 2, but I think it's closer to the size of the Extreme 3 than that of the Boom Box 2. We will definitely be comparing it to other speakers in the very, very near future, so subscribe. But for today, let's start with the JBL Extreme 3 three right here and see how these two compare to each other. Again, as usual, I'm using a high quality binaural microphone. If you want to get the most out of these sound samples, please try to use headphones. All right, here you go. Let's hear the speakers speak. You will never understand what I went through. You never were a good listener. A good listener You will never understand what you put me through And you'll never be a good lover A 
sobre ti yo solo cuenta todo Y si tú quieres te pone a buscar Es como tú lo mueves a pa pam pam Haciendo locura en la mañana Si alguien te pregunta no pasa nada Solo amaneciste en mi cama Dale, bésame Ven y atrápame Hagamos jueguitos que de chiquito no puedo So, what did you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. The motion boom is definitely a loudspeaker compared to the Extreme 3. The difference in loudness is night and day. Also, at these higher volumes, the sound core just sounds fuller. So if you're going for loudness, there's definitely no way around this guy if these are the two speakers that you are trying to decide in between. At low volumes, the difference between the two speakers is not as drastic, but I feel like the Motion Boom Plus right here still has an edge over the JBL Extreme 3. And I feel like this is mostly because this is giving you a stereo output as opposed to the mono that you get out of the Extreme 3. Um, the stereo here is giving us a wider sound stage. If you're someone who enjoys stereo, your sound you know for what you're getting out of the uh, the motion boom plus right here I think it just has an edge over the extreme 3 all in all I'm impressed with the sound of the motion boom plus right here most especially if you consider the price difference between this speaker and the one we just compared it to so more comparison videos are coming and if you have one in mind that you'd want me to um to do let me know in the comment section down there um, thank you for watching I'll leave the link to this speaker and other stuff down in the description section go check that out if you like what I do here leave a like if you like and want more subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video peace